in terms of the the script itself, I I thought here's a you know ostensibly a political comedy, but it's really not so much about the politics themselves in my mind. It's about the human beings that get caught in the middle. And I think in that way, it's a really universal kind of movie that it doesn't necessarily lean right or left. It's really mostly about the people who are caught in between. John Stewart is obviously a political animal. He knows, he knows so much and he, uh, he's so well-versed and, and smart and understands so much of the minutia uh, concerning politics. So I think having, a, having something like this in his hands is really important. You know, to have somebody with that background and that kind of knowledge is obviously uh, is helpful when you get to the comedy because uh, he understands it on a much deeper level than I think a lot of people do. Well, first and foremost, I think it's really funny. I think it's, it's full of eccentric, uh, kind of stri strange characters that you might not uh, see every day. Um, but I guess the underlying theme of it uh, is, is very humanistic and uh, I think will appeal to a lot of people because of that. I play Gary Zimmer. He is a Democratic political strategist. He lives in D.C. And one day he sees this, or this viral video is brought to his attention um, that depicts this, this farmer out in the middle of nowhere in Wisconsin who stands up in this town meeting and expresses himself very eloquently and beautifully and seems to really stand for so many of the values that, you know, the party is looking for. So my character decides to travel to Wisconsin and convince this farmer, this uh, really apolitical man, to run for the mayor of the town. And that's what sets everything in motion. He's very smart. He's very driven. He's incredibly opinionated. He doesn't have a, uh, a weak self-esteem. He's, he's kind of narcissistic. And at the same time, he does care about people and he cares about what he's doing. He cares about, uh, you know, he cares about doing the right thing or as he sees it, doing the right thing, almost at all costs. We're actually shooting in this really tiny town. So we have the sense of, we're, you know, we're not on a back lot anywhere. We're in a real town and these are real buildings. And the people that we're talking to in this town are real people. A lot of the extras and some of, you know, some of the principal characters are from around here. So we're getting a sense of what this town is like. And it's not unlike the town that's being depicted in the film. I was terrified of Chris Cooper before I met him because I thought this this is someone who would just kill you with a death stare. He's, he's, so, he's so intense, or at least that's, you know, you, you see him in films and that's the sense you get from him. Like, I, I, should I even, do I look at him in the eye? I mean, that's, that's the kind of person I was, I was worried he would be. Um, because he's, he's such a good actor and he's so riveting and he does a lot without doing much at all. He's incredibly calibrated and um, intuitive. Um, but then you meet him and there's obviously, you know, like happens so often, he's, he's the nicest guy and really warm and sweet and cares deeply about what he's doing. He's a retired uh, colonel in the Marine Corps. He's, um, he's real honest. Uh, disciplined, and uh, he, he's a man of great character. And I think that just kind of comes through who Chris Cooper is. He, he feels like he's that same sort of person, you know, at his base. He's just a good, solid human being. Mackenzie Davis plays Diana, who is the Colonel's daughter. And she is... Um, She's this young, 
incredibly smart, opinionated, and a, a sort of a foil for my character when I get to town. Because I think my character has this idea that the small town folk aren't going to quite get all of the the snazzy things that he does. And she gets it. And she is w way ahead of him in a lot of, in a lot of sense. Topher Grace plays Kurt, who uh, duh, is one of Gary's uh, pollsters, essentially. He's one of his, his right-hand men or w women. And he, uh, he, he's, he's playing it like he's the kind of guy that talks down to everybody below him but cowers under everyone above him. So he, you know, he's like, he's that middle management guy that really feels his authority when given the opportunity. Um, and he's, yeah, he's great. He's really fun. And he's a really good improviser too. Every member of the crew has mentioned, that I've talked to has mentioned uh, what an anomaly he is as a director. He makes everybody, I mean, apart from all the creative stuff, just as a human being, he makes everybody feel welcome and a part of what they're doing and uh, like an equal partner. Um, he's, and he's, and it's not just lip service, he's really kind to people and he really uh, offers himself up. You know, he, he talks to everybody, he, he includes everybody in on whatever process is going on. And I think People appreciate that. When you feel like you're a part of, of the creation of something um, and an equal, you know, an equal partner, I think that's important. This is what I like about how John wrote this. And obviously, you know, John leans liberal. I mean, I don't think that's any surprise to anybody, but the way he wrote this film, is it doesn't feel like a partisan movie to me. It feels very even handed it uh, like there is there are pluses and minuses on both sides of what's going on politically in this film there are and a lot of the minuses a lot of the a lot of the political garbage that people don't necessarily see or want to see